morning welcome back to my channel and Merry Christmas to you all I want to wish you all lots of health happiness peaceful life living in your cozy home with your loved ones because that is really the most important thing in life and today the day that I'm filming this is the 21st of December and we are about to go get a Christmas tree today uh, if you are wondering uh, why it is so late, it is because I don't celebrate Christmas on the 25th of December. We celebrate Christmas on the 7th of January. That's why we usually get a Christmas tree closer to the New Year's Eve, as the New Year's Eve is our first big holiday out of all the winter holidays. and. We love having a smell of a fresh Christmas tree for the New Year's Eve. Normally in Ukraine we would go to find a Christmas tree on the 25th of December and then decorate it during this day because this is our day off generally. And here on the 25th of December I guess it would be too late to buy the, a tree because on the 25th uh, the market will be closed here in Poland so we're doing it uh, a few days earlier this year we are going to get a Christmas tree which is not going to be too big I don't know the size some kind of a medium tree like that I guess and I don't have any decorations at all as we are not at home at first I was not sure if I want a Christmas tree at all but then I understood that of course I need a Christmas tree I got a string of lights maybe I will get a few ornaments next week and we will have our Christmas tree this year as well as I am in the middle of getting ready obviously this is not my final look yet I wanted to speak with you about winter layering I saw that this is quite a hot topic at the moment and this topic is so relevant to me because I feel like I know winter layering so well for myself like I know what fits best for myself and I thought that I could share some information that uh, may be useful for you as well if you are like me and you don't like feeling cold and it's so easy for you to feel cold then you need some extra layering during winter time in order for you to be comfortable and also I'm a person who really enjoys winter outdoorsy activities like walking out in the snow going ice skating although I don't ice skate well at all and like going to Christmas market spending proper time outside and for the for these activities you really need to dress well in order not to be cold and uh, for you to understand that the weather that I'm speaking about is about minus five degrees celsius so this kind of winter layering that i'm going to be describing uh, right now is for about minus five sometimes it can be zero degrees uh, celsius but it is so like windy and cold that it feels like minus five i'm not speaking about countries where you have winter when it's plus seven or plus 15 you don't need winter layering for that obviously as today we're going to spend quite some time outside maybe we'll also go have a coffee somewhere have a walk and then choose our christmas tree i need to dress well moving on to the outfit i usually start with putting on two pairs of tights i know for some of you it probably sounds crazy two pairs of tights but for people like me it is necessary to feel warm so at first i would usually put a pair of nylon tights which are about 50 60 70 then these could be tights of any brand it can be calcedonia or any brand that you like really and then i would normally put a pair of calcedonia tights which are a blend of wool and cashmere something like that those warm tights i don't have a new packaging at the moment to show you but i will try to insert the pictures on the screen and of course i will also leave the link uh, in the description to all of the products that i'm mentioning at least i will try to find all of them online and these those tights from calcedonia they are really warmer than regular nylon tights because they have wool and cashmere in them and they are also way more comfortable they are not too like restricting on your belly that's why i love them more than regular nylon tights and after two pairs of tights i will also put on a pair of socks today i'm wearing regular cotton socks from h&m you can put on any kind of socks you like they just need to be not too thick so you could fit in your winter boots and then i put a pair of trousers ideally if it is really cold outside it would be to put a pair of uh, wool trousers but unfortunately i haven't 
found a pair of wool trousers that would not be too itchy on my legs. So I'm wearing a regular uh, jeans. These are not really jeans. These are legging jeans. These are legging jeans from Uniqlo in a greenish color. Legging jeans is something that I really love right now, wearing them almost every day. They are better than regular jeans. They don't stick in your belly that, that much. They are really, uh, they have really more space for you to for you to feel comfortable, if you understand what I mean, because because regular jeans with all of the buttons and everything, they are usually not comfortable for your belly in winter, especially, and if you're putting tights underneath, then it becomes completely unbearable. So legging jeans is something I really recommend you. Uh, Uniqlo does them very well, but probably other brands do them as well. Moving on to the top, here I'm wearing something that I really like and I would really like to uh, recommend you. Uh, this is an Intimissimi cashmere blend top. I'm almost sure you have already heard about Intimissimi tops because they are so popular, because they are so good. So basically this is a top which has cashmere in the blend and because it has cashmere it is very warm and it gives you lots of extra heat and at the same time it is very thin, it is actually transparent and that's why it is so good for layering. It is not going to make your outfit bulky. You can put it underneath your sweaters just for extra heat, but you can also put it underneath your dresses and nobody will notice that you have something underneath. Of course, if you have a dress which is close up to here and has long sleeves and you will feel warm while wearing a dress which is not supposed to be a very winter-like dress. And uh, Intimissimi does this tops in really lots of colors, lots of neutrals. Uh, there are turtlenecks, there are, these are, this is like a square neck, I think. As I said, they are quite transparent, that's why right now I've put a tank top underneath for it not to be too revealing. And generally, I think you would not really wear this top alone. It's too transparent, you have to wear it underneath other clothes, or you can throw a cardigan on or a jacket and it would make a really nice outfit, I think. Also, as an example, they do their cashmere tops with lace necks like this. This is a v-neck with some lace here and also there is lace on the, on the sleeves. And I think it's quite cute, you wouldn't wear this alone, but if you are wearing this with a um, sweater with a v-neck and you just have a little bit of lace sticking out in here and on the sleeves, I think it would be a really cute and elegant outfit. Also, if you don't need that much layering, but you want just a little bit, you can go for a tank top. I also have a tank top. Uh, this is the same fabric, a cashmere blend from Intimissimi, but without sleeves and it's a really useful piece of clothing as well. Of course, if you want to have something like that uh, with 100% cashmere, you can absolutely find uh, these things. I saw a thin uh, basic, basic layer tops like this, 100% cashmere in Oisho, but that is going to be a pricier option, but a good option as well, and it's going to give you even more uh, heat for your body. I also wanted to mention that you can find basic layers like this in many brands with a mix of materials that are going to keep heat on your body. This is a basic layer that I have from Uniqlo. Uniqlo does really good basic layers as well. Uh, they have a whole collection which is called Heatech. I think this collection is like for skiers and for people who want to feel extra warm during winter time. And that is their turtleneck. Uh, this is a cheaper option than Intimissimi because it doesn't have cashmere in the blend. Still a good one and I'm giving this turtleneck a lot of wear this winter. So when you are layering, you obviously need to put something over this basic layer. This could be a sweater and ideally this sweater should be made of wool or cashmere because uh, synthetic materials like polyester and acrylic, they are not as warm as wool. And of course, they are not going to keep the shape of, um, of this garment for as long as wool and cashmere will. Uh, the, the whole look of the, this piece of clothing is not going to be new and nice anymore. That's why you have to understand that when you are buying a cashmere sweater or a wool sweater, it will stay longer in your, in your wardrobe than when you are buying a synthetic sweater. I will briefly show you a few examples of the sweaters that can be layered uh, for a winter outfit. The first example is this 100% wool sweater from Zara. 
camera I've worn it so much this winter already it is very thick that's why it is very very warm and that is a great example what you have to wear if you want to be really warm during your winter activities outside then I have a few examples of cashmere sweaters in here a cashmere is something that is perceived uh, in society as a luxury as a cashmere sweater is like a luxury product which uh, people think they cannot afford and that is not for them but right now we are lucky to have fast fashion brands which do cashmere sweaters with not a crazy price point and good quality and in my opinion that is something worth paying attention to if i had to recommend you only one brand to go and buy cashmere sweater from i would say uniqlo i have a cashmere sweater from uniqlo which is six years old here it is and it really feels like new. I wore it really a lot and it is amazing. The quality is really good. The cashmere is very soft, not itchy at all. It holds heat very, very well. And generally the quality is so good. This sweater is absolutely worth the money. But uh, the size that I have here is XS and this XS sweater, uh, it is it runs quite small so that is something I would wear with a tank top and that it and that's it and I would not use this sweater for layering so if I want to uh, have a cashmere sweater from Uniqlo for layering I would go a size up I would take an S or even M I think I would take an M and then it would be good to put it over basic layers uh, you can put it over the shirt for example over a tartan shirt it would look very cute a v-neck sweater and another sweater that I really like and I can recommend you for sure is a cashmere sweater from Abercrombie and Fitch I don't think they do cashmere products that much Abercrombie and Fitch it's not always that you can find those but if you can I really recommend you uh, to get them especially if they are on sale because this sweater I think it is about four years old and I'm satisfied with the quality a hundred percent it's it's i really like the color it is comfy and this kind of has an oversized fit that's why it is really good for layering for putting it over other other clothes and then moving on to something that i'm going to wear today today over this top i'm going to first put uh, on a turtleneck uh, this is a very thin wool turtleneck from uniqlo i like turtlenecks because they are Kind of protecting your neck and you don't need to, to worry about scars that much and basically this is going to give you an extra uh, layer but this is not going to be our final layer of today because this sweater itself is quite thin by the way of course normally i would skip the tank top underneath a basic intimacy layer right now i just wore it for filming for this top not to be tr too transparent and the turtleneck of uniqlo is on i really recommend you to go to uniqlo to take a look at this turtlenecks because uh, they are quite not expensive i don't remember exactly the price i will leave the link in the in the description but these are really not expensive but it is a hundred percent wool they are quite thin not bulky at all and that's why it's easy to layer them underneath other clothes they have this turtlenecks in lots of different colors but generally you can replace this turtleneck with any turtleneck that you like uh, of from other brands it can be wool or it can be acrylic as well but wool is going to be warmer and the last layer that i'm going to put on is going to be a cotton a pullover that uh, is the cotton pullover that I'm going to wear today. This one is from Polaroid Florin with a cute teddy bear. And you don't need to have an exactly the same cotton pullover. You can use any kind of pullover or a hoodie that you like of any brand that you like because uh, cotton pullover is something that all brands do. Mass market, fast fashion brands or more premium brands, doesn't matter. You can get an H&M one. Uh, any kind of uh, this one by the way I really love and treasure because I've ordered it from the website like custom made uh, on I don't know if that they still still do it I think they still do it on Polaroid Florin you can order a custom pullover you can choose like the picture the teddy bear like his outfit his uh, what he's holding in his hands uh, and then you can put your initials in here and on the back uh, they put your initials as well normally if i put this uh if i put this pullover alone 
uh, it will be too cold because that is just cotton. You couldn't, you can't be warm enough wearing just cotton. But with all the basic layers, you can put on a cotton pullover and be comfortable. And also, I like the look of a turtleneck with a round neck pullover. It looks like a 90s style to me, I think. I think it is 90s. So basically what you do is first you put a really like thin layered top. It can be a blend of cashmere from Intimissimi, Uniqlo. Then you put a wool turtleneck, not a thick one, like a thin wool turtleneck. It can be an acrylic turtleneck as well. It's just not going to give you that much heat. And then you put a cotton jumper that you love and that you feel comfortable in that is going to make you feel, feel good about your day. To finish this outfit, of course, we will need an outerwear layer, hat, gloves and scarf. I'm going to go grab them. So here right now I have two options of scarves. The same thing with scarves as I say about sweaters. If you want to be warm, you need to have wool or cashmere. And uh, here, this first option for wearing today, I have this wool scarf from Gucci. Is it just wool or wool with something? Okay, that is 75% wool and 25% alpaca. Very, very soft and warm. So that is the first option for today. That is more of a pricey option for a scarf. And then I also have more of a budget-friendly option. Uh, that is 100% cashmere scarf from Uniqlo. This scarf, this scarf doesn't look particularly new anymore because I wore it so much. Uh, this this scarf is six years old already, by the way, and uh, I like some years I used to wear it every day. Each single day I used to wear this scarf to work, and I would even keep it on my neck the whole, during the whole day if I'm like cold. And I washed it so many times already. That's why it's it's not super new anymore, but it is very very warm. The reason why I also love this scarf is uh, it is because it is not too thick and it is easy to put it underneath uh, various types of coats. It's not going to be bulky because it's not every time you want to have a bulky scarf. Not, it's not going to fit each uh, type of coat. In Uniqlo, they do these scarves in lots of different colors. Uh, they also, this year, they, do it, they are doing it in tartans and those are so beautiful. Then we will need a hat. Uh, here I have two options. The first one is a cashmere hat from Uniqlo. By the way, my scarf and my hat are not matching because I bought them like not together. This one was six years ago and this one was this year. But if you want, they have the matching colors for hats, for scarves and for the gloves. So this hat uh, is very soft, fully cashmere, but it is not very thick. It is a light hat. So if it is very windy outside, really cold, this hat will not be enough and you will need something thicker. I think for today it's going to be fine for me. But if I want to be even warmer, I would go for a thicker hat. That is my second option of a hat in here. This is a 100% wool hat from Moncler. Uh, obviously that is a cute, uh, more luxurious option. If you like this style, you can uh, go for a Montclair hat, but you don't have to. You can find a very cute wool uh, hat with a nice fluffy pompon in, in many brands right now. The key idea here is that it should be 100% wool and thick. This way you are going to be feeling really warm and cozy and nice. Wearing a hat is so important in winter. You need to keep your hat uh, really warm, your ears, because that is your health. Like nobody cares about your hair except you and the way your hair looks. So feeling healthy and warm is so much more important than thinking about how beautiful your hair is going to look after you take off your hat. And then you need a glass. Right now I have Uniqlo gloves that are matching my hat and uh, that is the only pair I have at the moment. For me they are perfect, I don't feel like I need anything else. They are warm enough for me for most situations, I don't feel like I need anything more warmer. Maybe if I went to like skiing in the mountains I would probably need something else. But for regular days outside in winter these are 100% enough for me and here is the way they look. I like this color, it's like a 
dirty brownish color something in between like gray and brown gray and brown mixed together and then i will need my puffer jacket and we are ready to go and the puffer jacket that i'm going to wear today is going to be my new puffer jacket from Uniqlo. I think if you watched my channel before you have seen that I have another jacket which is a more premium luxury option but that jacket is absolutely uh, not necessary to wear on regular days or especially when you're going to buy a Christmas tree and you can get dirty. In my opinion synthetic puffer jackets are not warm enough. If you want to be warm you need a puffer jacket which is filled with down, with feathers and down. And I'm not even speaking about those, you know, wool jackets that look like trench coats, you know, those nice, elegant, feminine jackets, which are not like puffer jackets. Those are for dates, for parties, for going out, but not for being warm, not for winter outdoorsy activities, not for that. Those are to be beautiful and to look beautiful, to go out and stuff like this. This is to be warm and comfortable. So uh, my color of the jacket is gray. That is the color that I like the most. This uh, season they didn't do any like fun colors. They did really like muted neutral colors. But uh, the shades are still nice. I wouldn't say that the shades are boring. Uh, the fit of this jacket is uh, straight. It doesn't have any any belts but I'm quite okay with it. The size of my jacket is XS. Uh, that is the size that fits me perfectly. I was hesitating if I need the size S but uh, in the end I feel like I'm wearing lots of layers and XS is still very very good. Uh, this jacket is quite long and I don't know if I need to say this but obviously your, you need your jacket to be long. You cannot buy a cropped puffer jacket and think that this is enough. No, 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 never, never. I don't understand why crop jackets even exist because they really like show all of the parts of your body that needs to be covered and they, that need to be warm. So in my opinion, your jacket needs to be uh, closing up to here. That is 100% necessary, but if it is longer, it is even better. The longer the better, the more heat you have the better. So my jacket is coming to, yeah, it is just coming to my knee and I think that is good enough for me. Uniqlo doesn't do longer jackets than this, that is the longest you can get, but if you manage to find longer jackets in other brands that is great. Anyway, I think I am ready to go. There is nothing more I can put on myself. In this outfit, when I'm going out, I'm always sure I'm going to be warm, I'm going to, to be comfortable, and I'm 100% going to enjoy uh, my time outside and not feeling cold and worrying about how cold I am and how I'm going to get sick after it and stuff like that. And I think that is what you all want just to enjoy your time outside in winter without worrying, without feeling uncomfortable. I hope this video was interesting for you and I hope I managed to give you some useful information. Right now we're going to head to buy that Christmas tree. I will try to film something of it and I will obviously show you how we're going to put it on and, uh, and how I'm going to decorate it but this video might be too long already so that maybe I will put it in my next video. We'll see. I hope you're all having a really nice time, really nice winter holidays. Субтитры